Hi everyone. So today is 30th January Tuesday and it is currently 6:39 p.m. and this is my to-do list for today. So right now I start off with a sample question paper of mathematics because that's my main task for today. I'll place a timer of 10 minutes for question paper reading and 3 hours for solving the question paper. So without any further delay, let's get started. So now let me tell you why I'm studying so late. So basically on 30th January I had my IT practical which went really well. Okay, it went absolutely well. I don't know why even if you don't study for the IT examination it always goes well. So on 29th January I was studying IT throughout the day like I was watching multiple YouTube videos. I was going through the steps of the book again and again. and i think i studied it till like 1:30 to 2 am and then i woke up very early at around 5 to 5:30 am and then i started studying it again after that i went to school i gave my practical exam and after coming back home i was kind of exhausted you can say so i had my breakfast and then i just slept and then i woke up at 6 pm so at 6:40 uh, am i started studying This was the first time ever that IT had actually made me nervous. I was kind of scared about the questions which could be asked in the examination like I had already uh, thought about the worst scenarios but it did not happen. The easiest questions were asked to us and I'm very grateful for that. Like we just had to make a presentation and then we had to do a very simple calculations in the spreadsheet and that was it. So yeah it was quite easy and I think we are going to get good marks in our practicals. So as I mentioned in my last videos also that currently my main focus is on science and math so I have already started solving the sample question paper of mathematics but for science I'll wait for a few more days because I think that I have to practice many more PYQs in order to be eligible of solving the sample question papers because uh, while solving the uh, sample papers I don't want to get stuck again and again. and as a result i just want to make the whole science preparation perfect before solving the sample papers maybe from the next week onwards i will start solving the sample question papers of science and this week i will revise the pyqs for like 2 hours every day and i'll also try to revise the one shot notes of all the theory theory of the ncert but i can't read the ncert from scratch again for obvious reasons For maths, I will try to solve as many sample question papers as possible, and on days when I can't solve a sample paper, I will just solve the PYQs. So the boards are almost here, and as of now, I'm not very nervous. But uh, one night before the examination, I always lose my confidence. So I just hope that the same thing does not happen this time also. Otherwise, the whole hard work that I did for one year will be ruined just in one night. and i'll say the same thing to you like please don't get anxious in the month of february otherwise all the hard work that you did will just go in vain so please stay confident with the sample question paper of science so i got done with it quickly but i could not find the solution to a five marker question and that's a very disappointing thing but i even tried it twice but i still couldn't find the answer so i'll have to look for it but as of now i'm taking a break after that i'll come back and then i will check the question sorry i'll check the answers today itself and then i'll also tell it to you and then i'll also have to check the solution of that particular question so yeah i'll come back after while so it is currently 9:48 pm so let's check the answers and let's see how much i got So if I talk about my mistakes then I got 2 out of 5 on that particular 5 marker question uh, because of obviously step marking and I got my answers wrong in the MCQs and the case based question other than that all the questions were correct and in the CBQ I couldn't really understand why my answer was wrong so I think I'll have to take some help to in order to understand that question I scored 71 out of 80 which is better than my previous score but I'm still not satisfied with it So uh, there were actually a few answers which were wrong okay in the solution so i had to check on the internet and then only i got to find the correct answer 
I solved other sample question papers also, but their answers weren't wrong. So I don't know why this error has arrived. And yeah, that was it. Right now, I will place a timer of one hour thirty minutes. It is currently ten seventeen p.m. Try right? one hour thirty minutes. So this timer will end at eleven forty seven. Right now, I will start practicing the PYQs of science. Now, if I talk about the PYQs of science, then initially I used to make a lot of mistakes, but nowadays the number of mistakes have reduced for sure. But the silly mistakes are still here, so I'll have to focus on that. And maximum mistakes are solely from chemistry. I don't know why this is happening to me because my concepts are clear, but still I'm making the same mistakes again and again. So I guess I'll have to practice as many PYQs as possible this week. I don't usually say this a lot on my videos but can you please please consider hitting the subscribe button because we are very close to 5k subscribers so I'm also planning to do a Q&A once we hit the 5k mark so it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel so please make sure that you subscribe now if I talk about my plans of 11th grade then there are very high chances that I might leave my school so this thought obviously makes me feel very emotional because I will leave my friends and my friends are actually going on very separate paths like we have completely different goals of life so I don't know when we will meet next once our boards get over and even if we don't change the schools nothing is going to be the same because we will not be in the same class not in the same section we will not meet in the same way as we used to in the recess so yeah everything is going to change in 11th and whenever i think about my classes of 10th grade i get so many flashbacks like we used to discuss before going to school then we used to talk about uh, the next period the homework that the teacher had assigned the revision test etc etc like i'll i'm gonna miss all of that in 11th grade so after practicing the PYQs of science for 90 minutes, I took a break of 15 minutes and then I started practicing the PYQs again for 30 minutes. AM. Right now I will place a timer of 30 minutes. So this timer will end at 12.36 AM. So right now I'll start practicing the PYQs of science once again. And after that I'll not take a break, I'll just start practicing. Uh, the PYQs of SST and I also revised geography. If you have watched the lectures of the grad sir for geography, then you'd know that he always tells us not to memorize and he always advises us to relate geography with our daily life. But I don't know why, I just can't do that. Like I understand everything in his lecture. He makes us understand social science in a way no other teacher can. But geography the subject is itself a very boring subject in which you have to memorize at least in my case i have to memorize everything because i could not find a common concept which could be applied to every single topic uh, as a result memorization is the only thing that i'm currently doing uh, so just do whatever works the best for you i'm not saying that every student has to memorize the stuff but for me memorization is the only thing and in works. other subjects i can definitely understand the concept and then i can make up the answers on my own i can relate to it as well but in geography i don't know why i just can't maybe because i find that subject very boring since sixth grade so i have this dushmani kind of thing i don't know why but i just i just can't and also I will revise the notes of geography again and again, especially from agriculture and minerals and industries so that I can completely memorize the thing before the exams. So yeah, that's my plan for geography and there is nothing special. And I'm not saying that mugging up or ratta marna is a good thing, but I know that I'll not have to study this subject or these topics again in future. So I just do whatever I feel is the best for me so yeah so it is currently 1 43 a.m and I am done with all my tasks for today 
so yeah that was it for today's video i hope you like this video if you did then do consider subscribing to my channel because we are very close to 5k subscribers and also let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i would love to read all your comments so yeah that was it thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next video tomorrow bye